The ternary operator in JavaScript can reduce multiple lines of code to a single line. Many JavaScript newcomers don't quite understand the ternary operator. So let's take a few moments to discuss it. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. The ternary operator can be used to replace an if conditional. It accomplishes the exact same thing, but it does it in a single line. The ternary operator doesn't make sense for every if conditional, but it is ideal for a concise if conditional, and it can take five lines and reduce it to one. Let's take a look at it. I have some code already set up. I have two objects that I've created, student one and student two. They have a name and a score attached. This is the score that each student received. Then I have a function set up. It's simply a pass or fail function. What it does is it simply indicates whether the student passed or failed based upon the score that is passed in. So we pass in an object, one of the student objects. We pass in the score that is required to receive a passing score. And then we simply have an if conditional. We check to see if the score is greater than or equal to that minimum number. If it is, we set the pass property of the object to true. Otherwise, we set the pass property to false. So very simple. Let's first take a look at student one. Here we can see name is Mary, score is 90. Now let's call our function. We're passing in student one and the score that they must achieve or be greater than is 80. So we go ahead and press return. Now if we take a look at student one, we can see that there is a pass property and it is set to true. So pretty simple. Now what we want to do is replace this if conditional here with the ternary operator. The ternary operator is called that because it has three parts. As a condition, it has the portion for the true statement and a portion for the false statement. And we can enter the whole thing on a single line. So let's look at one way we might do this. Now first I will set up the condition obj.score greater than or equal to min. And if it is greater than or equal to min, then we do whatever follows the question mark. So the question mark sets up the true condition. And what we're going to do in the case of this is set obj.pass to true. Then we enter a colon. The colon sets up the false condition. obj.pass equals false. So that's how we would convert this five line conditional into a single line. Here is the conditional. Here is the portion of the operator that indicates what follows will be executed if the condition evaluates to true. So this is executed if it evaluates to true. This is executed if it evaluates to false. The colon identifies that. So let me save that. Let's refresh that. Take a look at student one again. And we can see what was there before. Pass or fell student one. And let's also do pass or fell student two. Now if we take a look at them, we can see we get the exact same results. And student two now shows false with the pass property. So that's the ternary operator. Let me show you one more way we can use this ternary operator. So right now we are repeating obj.pass. We have it twice. So we can make this a little bit cleaner. Let's do this instead. Let's do obj.pass equals. Now here's where we put our condition 
obj.score greater than or equal to min. Now, our question mark, what will happen if this evaluates to true? We will simply provide true, evaluates to false, we will simply provide false. So what's going to happen is this is returned as a condition, or this is returned as the, the condition, and it gets assigned to obg.pass because of the assignment operator here. So let me comment this out. Save that. Refresh again. Let's go ahead and go with student two this time. We can see what's showing there. Whoops. I get the whole statement. Now if we look at student two, we can see that the same thing was accomplished. So a different way to use the ternary operator, but it's more concise and we're not repeating parts. Now even if you choose not to use the ternary operator, it is at least important that you understand it because you will see it in other people's code. I hope this was helpful. Hit the bell button to be notified about new tutorials. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button or click the circle link on the left. I release a new tutorial each week. You can click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com for full courses and to support this channel. Thanks for watching.